Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers. I've been asked several times about how to get a picture that you had on the wall to print or to web. So we're going to give that a shot right now. So let's get started. This is an acrylic painting by Tracy Ann Finley. She does a lot of interesting paintings and sculptures. So you should check her out and all the information is in our description below. Now let's say you did a painting and you decided you wanted to make prints from it. And of course, when you take a photo, it's distorted a little bit. It's never perfect. This was taken off of our wall. When it comes to web, it's much easier. You don't have to worry about the sizes as much. You just have to get rid of the distortion. But when it comes to print, you have to know the size of the painting. This particular painting is 11 by 14. So we're gonna follow that. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna say document and I'm going to resize the document first. And I'm going to choose inches. And I know it's 11, I want 11 by 14. And if you want to print, you probably should do 300 DPI, but many people can also do because it's 11 by 14, you could do 150. So for this, I'm going to change this to 150. So it's 11 by 14. So let's do, we have to make it bigger because this did not make the whole thing. So for now, just give us extra space. So instead of 11 by 14, give us two inches. So let's say 13 inch by, instead of 14, I'll leave it at 17 because we don't want it distorted. We want to make sure it's the right size, not, no distortion. So I'm resizing that. You don't see anything, but if you look at your document size, it's, a, it's now 13 by 17 at 150 DPI. But we don't want it 13 by 17. We want it 11 by 14. So now I'm going to increase the canvas size here. Document, resize canvas. And instead of 13 wide, I want it 15 wide. So I'm going to go right to the middle here just to make sure it goes wide. And instead of 13, I want extra just to give me extra space later. The next thing I'm actually going to do is duplicate this so we don't ruin this original the way it is. Control or Command J and hide the layer below. And now I'll go to my Guides Manager. So if you view and Guides Manager. Okay, so horizontally we are 14 inches. The actual painting is 14 inches. So what we want to do is we want to give ourselves extra space. So I'm going to put two guides in here. So the first one, we're going to go one inch, go one. And if you look up here, you'll see once I do that, it's right up here, one inch. And now since it's one inch, it's 14 down, but I just added an inch, so I'm going to go 15. I just wanted to leave myself some extra room. There you go. So here's 15. Really? Okay. That looks a little odd, but okay, there's 15. And now vertically, we want 11 inch across. So I'm going to start, I'm going to add two more. One, two, and I'm going to do again, I'm going to go 01. And instead of 11 inch, I'm going to go 12. And there you go. And now the next thing I will do is go to live filters and perspective. And it adds a perspective, a live perspective here. Make sure it says destination. That's very important. Make sure snapping is turned off. I'm going to get close up of the top corner. Like that. And now with perspective, I need this corner of my painting to end up right here. So I'm going to just pull up. And you have to keep going a few times. Now make sure, again, that no snapping is on because the snapping is not coming from here. It would be there and it would get in your way. So now I'm going to slide down. I'm holding my space bar. I'm pushing with my mouse. And we want to find the other point. And we want this to be see, way up here, right to that corner right there. And now we're going to go again, my space bar, and I'm sliding across. And we want this corner to be right there. And space bar again. And we want this corner of the painting to be moved up. 
Now, remember, sometimes, actually, what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of the black because we're talking about sending this to a printer. So I'm going to redo this. I'm going to actually not show the black frame. So I'm going to go back and pull this in a little bit more. So it's that's outside of the black frame. We don't want to show that black frame. So I'm going to do this again. You could see right there. And one more time. And I'm going to pull this out. Oops, like that. Now, because there's always going to be a little bit of distortion, you might see, see how a little tiny bit might get cut off. And you can try and get it back, but you don't want the frame. So just get it as best you can. Now you need to take a pen tool, and now you can turn on your snapping. That would make it much easier. So all you need to do is follow here, and it will snap into place like that and close her up and hit selection and do control or command J and we can hide this one and we deselect control or command D. Now we can go to view and uncheck show guide show guides as or you can do control or command uh, semicolon either one works and let's get back to the middle of the photo. We can check this by going to view studio transform and if you do view studio transform this is 11 by 14 and that's exactly what we want some printers will print it on a larger piece of paper they will tell you the size of the paper so i don't that's up to you and your printer so if you needed to print this at 11 by 14 it's probably going to be a larger size paper you can do that on your own printer and then just cut out the difference what i'm just going to do now is I'm going to center this on my page. So let's see if I can get my center showing. I see the green, there's, and now I see the red. That's centered on my page. So if this is 11 by 14, I could send this to the printer right now or print it on my own printer. And it'll be 150 DPI in this case. You can do 300 if you'd like. And make sure your paper is larger. Uh, you could shrink it a little if you want to border, but if you want this to be 11 by 14 exactly the way it is, then you must print on a larger piece of paper. Now I can also, if I want to put it on a website and want to have a little bit of a frame like it had before, let's say we want to have a half inch frame. Well, this is 11 by 14. So instead, of, if we want a half inch frame, we do an inch on inch bigger which means half inch on each side so let's go to document resize canvas so instead of 11 by 14 let's uncheck this we are going to do 12 by 15 and we're going to do it from the center and hit resize and there you go. So now all I have to do is do layer, new fill layer, and we'll put that behind, and maybe we'll make that black. And there you go. Now, so this would be not for your printing because you, want, you don't want to print the border with it. So now if I want to put it for web, it's very easy. This is too big for web because it's 150. So I just have to do file, export, JPEG, and I can go high quality if I want, but it's pretty big size. So let's cancel that and let's go document. I would save this just to be on the safe size, but resize document. And instead of 150, I would go maybe 100. You can go 72 actually, but I'd say 100 nowadays is fine. And resize. And it's a much smaller size now, so file export JPEG and then export and I'd say JPEG high and then name it whatever you want to name it and then now it's for web so another way to do it I'm gonna undo that some printers before we remember before we did the frame some printers let's go back to where it was so I'm gonna make sure I did it back okay we're back to 150 some printers it's best 
not to use a JPEG. In fact, my preference when I send things to a printer is save it as a PDF. So then you can do File, Export, and do PDF uh, right here. And there you can do, you can tell it what size to do it, 150, 144, you could pick your size, but usually it picks 300 on its own and that should be okay. So you can do it any way you want. So it's a simple tutorial, uh, not too complicated. And the most important thing, it's easy for web, but when you want to do it for print, you have to be pretty precise. And this is pretty precise. It's as close as we're going to get on this. You could maybe adjust some colors if you think they were off, but I think this is good for what we need to do. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.